Alright, so this is Ollie. Um, this is my very first Nuzlocke. Uh, I have always wanted to film a Nuzlocke. I am going to do my best to not let anybody die, but you know, um, you never know what's going to happen. So. We are going to go ahead and get started. Um, new game. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes, we band together and battle others like us. Others who also fight their Pokemon to the death. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I am a girl, but I don't want to look like that, so I'm going to play as a boy. Alright, what's your name? Well, my name is Olivia, but everybody on the internet calls me Ollie. So we're going to be the, the boy sprite named Ollie. So it's Ollie? Yes. Ah, okay. You're Ollie, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. Wait, I'm what? I'm moving? Why didn't anybody tell me? I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Not really. I didn't know I was moving. Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokémon, where dreams, adventure, and friendship await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come and see me in my Pokémon lab. Seriously, why didn't anybody tell me I was moving? And why am I riding with all the stuff? Was there not room in the front seat? Oh, oh my god. Oh, box. It hit my head. Ugh. Oh, daylight. Oh god, it's so bright. Ugh. Ollie, we're here, honey. It must be tiring, riding with our things in the moving truck. Really? You know, why couldn't I ride with you, Mom? Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Ollie. Let's go inside. Ugh. See, Ollie? Isn't it nice in here, too? I guess. The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Ollie, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it! Uh, okay, so, basically, I'm gonna be playing a Nuzlocke. Clock is stopped, better set it and start it. Yep, it is 11 o'clock here, at night. See, I had recorded 
an episode before this, but my recording was corrupted, so I'm having to start over a little bit, which is a bit disheartening, but, you know, stuff happens, and maybe this one will be even better. So 11pm. This is the correct time, and it's gonna be that time forever because the battery has stopped. Ollie, how do you like your room? It's very blue. Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Okay, I see my notepad. I see my computer. And... This secret potion I kept in here for safekeeping. You know, not like I have a Pokemon or anything. But I don't see my cactus. Where is my cactus? I bet they broke it. <sighs> How dare they. Vigoroth are so clumsy. Oh, Ollie! Ollie! Quick! Cl come quickly! Look, it's Pet Petalburg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report in from in. Oh my goodness, <laughs> from in front of Petalburg Jim. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Why just me? Why can't you come too? I just waltz in there by myself. Yep, looks like that's what I'm gonna do. Also, check this out. Professor Birch's house. Okay, that makes sense. And then my house. Ollie's house. Me, the ten-year-old child. I own this house. Oh, hello! And you are? Oh, you're Ollie, our new next-door neighbor! Hi! We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. She's upstairs, I think. Okay. Hey, Max. Pink-haired Max. Hi, neighbor! Do you already have your own Pokémon? No. I, I want one. Okay, I don't see any girl. I do see a bed. Ah, comfy. Ooh, maybe I can steal this. Huh? Who, who are you? Oh, so you're Ollie. Your move was today? I'm May. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Ollie, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've just met you, Ollie. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help dad catch some wild Pokemon. Ollie, I'll catch you later. Gotta check my Tumblr first. Pokemon fully restored, items ready, and gotta repost this. Okay, May, you do that. Okay, so Professor Birch isn't there. Uh, I know he's not here. Let's talk to the science guy. If you use a PC, you can store items and Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. Okay, so... Uh, do I dare check my trainer ID and see if it changed? I got a Trico last time, and I kind of want a Trico again. But I'm gonna check and just see... Ugh, four. It gives me Torchic. You know what? Usually... Usually I would say go with your trainer ID, but because I got a Trico last time, I'm gonna go ahead and and choose Trico this time, just because that's just not fair. <laughs> it's not my fault my game corrupted. There are scary Pokemon outside! I can hear their cries! That's terrifying, little one. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? I don't have any Pokemon either, little one. <sighs> Help me! You got a Zigzagoon on your tail, sir. Hello, you over there! Please, help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! Okay. A Pokeball. There's three. Well, I'm gonna go with Trico. My long-lost friend, Trico. And this level 2 Zigzagoon. I'm gonna use Pound. I'm gonna take it down. 
I'm gonna punch it in the face. Stop eating. How dare you. Wow, that healed a lot, actually. Not gonna lie. Is this gonna be the shortest lived Nuzlocke ever? Come on. You could do it, Trico. I believe in you. Okay, and I beat it. Phew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. Can you believe wild Pokemon live in the grass? You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Ollie! This isn't the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Later. So, Ollie. I've heard so much about you from your father. He talks about me? I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. Ugh, I can't believe he's talking about that again. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Awesome, I got my Trico. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? I will. Okay, so I am gonna name this Trico after the Trico that I used last time. I'm going to name it Crux. Now, my naming theme is Constellations, but this name, I'm naming it Crux after both the Constellation and Edison T. Crux, because he is the one who actually prompted me to go ahead and start my own Nuzlocke series. So thanks, Edison. This one's for you. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid, May, is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Ollie, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Why not? Great! May should be happy too! Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I know what it means to be a trainer. I've been to trainer school. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at this. This crux here. Oh, it's modest. Well, that's interesting. See, modest lowers your attack, which explains why I wasn't hitting for anything, but low, but raises your special attack, which is good because Trico's a grass type and the grass type moves are special in third generation. So that'll be good. Um, I am forever going to miss Crux, the brave Trico that I had last the last episode that got corrupted um now anything that I encounter on my way to go find May I'm not counting uh, because well it's just I don't have any pokeballs yet and that just wouldn't be fair okay now if you're not familiar with what a nuzlocke is because I am playing a nuzlocke um, the first Pokemon that you encounter on every route, after you get your Pokeballs, uh, is your only encounter for that route. Um, I am playing with Dupes Claws, so say if I caught that Zigzagoon and then I encountered another Zigzagoon, I wouldn't count that encounter and I'd get something else. But considering that's not my encounter, because I don't have any Pokeballs to catch it with, we are just going to ignore it and go train a little bit, and then go fight May. It's gonna be May. Um, so, another Nuzlocke rule is that whenever you... Oh, let's talk to this person and get a free potion. Can I get you to come with me? Yeah. This is a Pokemart. Just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Not yet, though. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. Obtain the potion! Awesome. It can be used anytime, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. You know, I agree. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna fight another Pokemon. 
try and level up. Um, okay, an important, an important thing is that if a Pokemon faints in battle in a Nuzlocke, it is considered dead, and you have to release it or box it permanently. I will be releasing mine, because otherwise I get tempted to use them again, and it's hard to think of them as dead if you see them every time you open your box. Um, it's going to be a really hard challenge, just because... I am very inexperienced with Nuzlocke's, personally. Um, I think we're gonna try and level up to level 7 here. Um, let's see, another rule is... You have to nickname every Pokémon that you get. Which, I nickname my Pokémon anyway. But it's meant to help you build a bond with your Pokémon. It's, it's meant to build the story. And honestly, that's what I love about Nuzlocke's the most, is the, the amount of story that you can have. You know, it's just, it's a really exciting way to play the game. It, it makes it interesting, it makes it harder, and it's just really fun, I think. So, uh, let's see, have I gone over everything? Pokemon Fainting Die, you have to nickname everything, first encounter on every route, Duke's Claws, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything. And there's also shiny claws, which if you encounter a shiny Pokemon, you can catch it. But I am playing on an emulator. I have the game. It's sitting right next to me, actually. But I have no way to record it. So, emulator it is. So even if I did find a shiny Pokemon, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it, really. So... It's not super important to catch shiny Pokemon in this playthrough. Um, so I'd probably just use it, and if it fainted, I'd release it. Which would be sad, but, I mean... It's, a uh, Well, I mean, I can't keep it. It's cool, but I can't keep it. Okay, so... I think one more Pokemon battle, and then we can fight May. May and her... Poor chick. Hmm. Zigzagoon. Let's fight this Zigzagoon. Okay, it used Growl, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Absorb. Because it's special. Special. Okay, so a little bit about me while we train. Um, I love Pokemon, clearly, because I'm doing Pokemon hard mode. I... My name is Olivia. Everybody calls me Ollie on the internet, at least. Not many people call me Ollie in real life. <laughs> but I live in Louisiana. I love me some spicy food. Um, I love sweets. In fact, I thought about naming my Pokemon after sweets. You know, like cheesecake and pudding and butterscotch. But... My cousin suggested naming them after stars, which I thought was just brilliant. And so I decided to go with constellations, because, you know, there are a lot of star names, and it would just be an impossible list to manage. But constellations, you know, there's there's 80. There's a list of 80, so I've got a list of constellations pulled up next to me. And uh, I'm going to draw from that whenever I name my Pokémon. Hmm. So, I've always wanted to do a Nuzlocke on camera. Um, I always thought it would be really fun to just be able to tell a really dramatic story and, you know, have a lot of new characters that, you know, maybe other people could fall in love with. I know I love watching, um, Edison's Nuzlocke's, I love Maryland's Nuzlocke's, you know, I just have a really fun time watching them, so it's really exciting to be doing one of my own. Okay, let's take down the Zigzagoon. I might end up being a little overlevel to fight May, but considering this Trico is modest, and the only special attack that I have right now is a grass-type move going up against a fire-type, 
perhaps being a little overleveled isn't such a bad idea. Okie doke. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight May. Hello, May. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include that would be Wingull, Hushiena, Zigzagoon, and a Wurmple. I think. I think you can find Wurmple on Route 103. Oh, I see. My dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. I know what being a trainer is like. I guess those wild Pokemon battles don't count, though. Hmm. Okay, so she's got a level 5 Torchic, and I have a level 7 and a half Trico. Okay, so normally I would use Pound. I'm kind of interested to see how much Absorb would do. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Just to see. Okay, that didn't do much. That didn't do much of anything. That was pretty bad, actually. Well, good news is I have two potions if I need them. Um. I think I'll be okay. Yep, I'll be fine. Good job, Crux. You're living up to, uh, to your namesake. Being strong. Alright. Well? I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. I agree, May. Let's go back to the lab. And heal. Healing is a good idea. Hang on, May. I gotta do something. I would like to rest my Pokémon. Thank you! Okie doke. So, me and Crux walking down Old Dale. Ollie, over here! Let's hurry home! Well, quit stopping me, May. I'm trying to get home. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a nice pair of running shoes. Okie doke. So, my home or the lab? I'm guessing the lab. Okie doke. Oh, hi, Ollie. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent! May's been helping with my research for a long time. She has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Ollie, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. You're giving me a Pokedex? But I'm like 10. This Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, she looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Aww, that's cute. Oh wow, Ollie, you got a Pokedex too! That's great, just like me! I've got something for you too. Awesome, now I can go get some encounters. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Well, what else would you catch them with? Okie doke. Hi, Mom! Wait, Ollie! Ollie, Ollie, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from Professor Birch? How nice! You're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Give me back those sneakers you got. They'll put a zip in your step. Alright, Mom, take my stinky sneakers. Give me these new running shoes. You know, if I really had some new running shoes, then... I'd have some pretty bad blisters. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, if any of your Pokemon die, you can come home. Go on, go get them, honey. Thanks, Mom. I'll be sure to come home if I ever lose anybody. I'll just cry, cry into my mommy's arms. Alright, so we're gonna run and see what our first encounter is. And it's a Wurmple! Alright! Well, I know just what to name this Wurmple. 
I caught a Wurmple on my file that got corrupted, and I'm gonna name this Wurmple the same as the last Wurmple. Second verse, same as the first, as it were. There you go. Come on, little guy. You can come with me. Beep, 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 All right. Let's give a nickname to the captured Wurmple. I meant to read that Pokedex entry, but, uh... Oh, oops. Its name was supposed to be Aquila, but I guess for now, Aquila is A. I'll rename that as soon as we, uh, as soon as we get to the name, name raider. But that's a little silly, isn't it? Hello, Aquila. We'll call you uh for now. Aquila is bold. All right, Aquila, you'll be fun. Me and my. See, I'm not quite used to these uh, controls yet, so I hit the wrong button. And, well, you know the rest. I now have a Wurmple named A. It's A! <laughs> That's pretty silly. Okay, well, I'm going to call him Aquila for simplicity's sake. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my next encounter. Up here. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, a Poochiana. I know what to name this one, too. Oh no! Aw, oh, man. Well, I couldn't have seen that coming. That sucks. Now, since I, I crit my encounter and it fainted, then I don't get it. Which is lame. Ugh. It's such a bummer. Okay. Let's try here, then. Whoa. Well, um... I didn't see that coming. Don't crit this. Well... This, uh, this is an interesting turn of events. My encounter for this route is a Ralts. This didn't happen last time. Alright, well, we got a Ralts. A Ralts has the power to sense the emotions of people and Pokemon with the horns on its head. It takes cover if it senses any hostility. Me too, Ralts. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna name her... Oh jeez, what should I name her? You know what I'm gonna name her? I'm gonna name her... Hmm. I want to name her... Andromeda. I think that's a cool name for a Ralts. Okay. Well, that I didn't see coming. Alright, well let's go heal up and take a look at Andromeda. Yeah, we'll save. I mean, heal. Alright, let's take a look at Andromeda, we'll go outside. Alright. So we've got Crux, my modest Trico, Aquila, <laughs> The bold Wurmple, and Ralts the impish, or Andromeda the impish Ralts. Well, I think that's a pretty cool team for the start, especially, you know, the fact that I lost all that footage. It's kind of, uh, I kind of feel better now that I've got Andromeda here. So, you know, maybe it's not so bad. Well. I think I'm going to call that an episode, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you like. Um, and I'll see you on the next episode of Ollie's Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. See you next time, everyone!